You're listening to KPFT Houston, 90.1 on the dial, down in Galveston. You can catch us at 89.5. Our friends up in Huntsville and beyond catch us at 89.7. We have two new locations here at KPFT. You can catch this show on Mondays at 12 noon on our HD2 channel, as well as Thursdays at 5 to 6 p.m. on HD2. It's 7 o'clock. It's time for Songwriter Studio. I am your host, Tom Tranchilla, along with our good buddy Lloyd Daniel behind the glass here in the Songbrush Sound Studios. It is our honor to bring to the show again Sarah Pierce, who's got a brand spanking new excellent Western album, Blessed by the West. Please let me introduce Sarah Pierce. How you doing, Sarah? I'm great. How are you? No complaints. Uh, how's the weather <laughs> out there in, in Liberty Hill, Texas? It's beautiful today. Absolutely gorgeous. Springtime is here and here with a vengeance. <laughs> but you got to enjoy it because it's short. <laughs> That's right. You know, you've been working on this album for a while, although it just seems like yesterday you released Barb Wire and we did an intense review and interview on that particular record. And I can't yeah. believe you have a new album out already. Refresh my memory. How long has it been since Barbara was released? I think it's, it's five years or something. I don't even know. Well, see, if you asked me, I would have time. said I would have said two years, but you know how time oh, flies. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, my fans are going. What do you do for five years when you're not doing anything? Yeah. Well, you've always got songs in the can. I know that. That is true. So. Oh no, no, we wrote this record. I had twelve songs, and then we looked at those and went. Mm. They're not okay. So I had to write 12 more. No, no, no. Holy cow. Let's <laughs> talk a little bit about your background, who the viewers that have not heard you on my show before. You were actually born in Rockford, Illinois. You're a Midwestern girl raised in, in rural West Texas. So how did that yeah. all come about? And I'm sure this gave you the appreciation for country and Western music. Go ahead. Yeah, my, my dad was a real cowboy. And um, what happened was he, um, my family had five ranches across the United States. And so he would be the foreman guy for a couple of years and then he'd need to move on and, and get another ranch going. And so we had one ranch in West Palm Beach in the grassland, not West Palm Beach. Um, the oldest ranch and the one that still exists is Woodlawn, Illinois, and then Brady, Texas. And Ken Carl, which is a development now, used to be a ranch outside of Denver. So we just moved all over wherever dad needed to be. Well, you know, that's interesting because it definitely influences your music. You write so well about the cowboy and cowgirl way of life. And the album is very almost concept because you talk so much about this way of life and giving homage to the female Cowgirls of the time and the trilogy we're going to be playing a little later on in the show is just excellent. I love the way you piece this together. Thank so you. let's jump right into the record. We've got so much to play here and so little time. Multi instrumentalist Cody Braun, Reckless Kelly plays some killer fiddle on the opening track. I want to. Oh, whatever he does, he's great at it. He's that is just, true. I drove in, he was going through the gate, and I was going through the gate, and he said, I just did 12 fiddle tracks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's definitely the go-to guy. Plays so well on the opening track, I Want to Go Home. Why don't you give the listening audience a little heads up on this track? You know, I, I wrote this actually two years ago, and um, it's just that every day when I'm not here at home, um, I'm, I say about two o'clock in the afternoon, I just want to go home. <laughs> when the gate opens and I get into the, the land, it's when everything is worth it. You know, your job, everything you do, all the work you do, you finally go, okay, this is why I do this so that I can um, take care of this land and the trees and livestock and keep it going. You know, it's produced, recorded, engineered by your husband, Merle Briganti. On your, the Merle uh, Briganti, yeah. The Merle Briganti, greatest percussionist in the state of Texas and uh, <laughs> an excellent recording engineer, I might add. And yes. we have him all over this record, of course, not only playing percussions and drums, but he actually does some background vocals. So, Oh, yeah, beautifully. 
Hey, you can't sing with Jim Messina and, and Kenny Loggins and be a duffer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump into track number one off the brand new album, Sarah Pierce, Blessed by the West. This is I Want to Go Home. There's a place, there's nowhere like it, I swear It's the open range And it's waiting there It's a lone star up above an old live oak That tree's seen it all And she still has hope I want to go home Dig my boots in the red dirt Where the rising sun Wake a dormant place in my soul I want to go home Where my saddle is my church And a long ride confession Is the only way I know I want to go There's a way there, it's land, it's weather It's tradition, holding the West together It's your word, it's a handshake That's all it takes out there You are the man or woman you make I want to go home Dig my boots in the red dirt Where the rising sun Wake a dormant place in my soul I want to go home Where my saddle is my church And a long ride confession Is the only way I know I want to go home Rocks reaching up to God. It's the Rio Grande tucking us in on the southern side. It's the people sweating out their dreams to keep this way of life alive. I wanna go home, take my boots in the red dirt weather. Sun. Wake a dormant place in my soul I want to go home Where my saddle is my church And a long ride confession Is the only way I know I Want to Go Home, brand new music, Sarah Pierce, the name of the new album, Blessed by the West. I Want to Go Home, great track. We discussed prior to the airing, Cody Brown's excellent fiddle work, and I know that's Merle singing background harmony. Just a beautiful song. The guitar is just so crisp and clean. I love the miking on this album. I've complimented Merle in the past on his just precise modeling of the acoustic guitars. What a great tone he gets. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, that's Mike Dorian, so it can't be better. Oh, Mike Dorian. I know he plays all over this record as well. I've got several guitar players. John Inman also yeah. does guitar work on this record. So 
He there does. There you have it. Yes, I've got him down. His guitars on. Actually, doesn't he play on rough stock? Yeah, that's John. There you go. Jumping into the next track on the album, Any Place That's Wild, John Chandler playing harmonica on this. And talk about a boost yeah. in the song. This really adds life and color to the music. And again, Michael Dorian on acoustic leads on this. What a terrific job he does. Why don't you get into the little bit of the background of this song? Well, you know, I I, I don't know it because this was written by Willie Braun. You know, Cody was in the studio uh, doing his fiddle stuff and he said, Willie's got a song you need to cut. And so he sent it and I'm like, hey, I love it. Willie did, boy, I hope I don't mess this up. Willie wrote this as a duet with he and, is it Susie Boggus? Yes. No. I think, gosh, I'm embarrassed. I can't remember who the female was that he sang it with. So anyway, Cody sent it and I loved it. I love everything that Willie Braun writes. And we always have a Willie Braun song on our records, <laughs> whether it's a co-write or not. So um, this is his deal. I, I don't know what he's writing about. <laughs> well, I'm glad you recorded it. It's one of my favorite songs on the record. Let's listen to this track right now. Any Place That's Wild, Sarah Pierce. The name of the new album, Blessed by the West. And uh, like, like she just said, it is written by Cody Braun and someone else. Maybe we'll get that straight by the time the song ends. Great acoustic leads by Mike Dorian, and I already mentioned John Chandler on really, really tasty harp work on this track. Let's listen to that track right now. You were gonna be my man We were gonna tame the wild west together We had the whole world in our hands You couldn't wait to twirl your pistol Listen to the coyotes cry We were set to stake our claim on forever Underneath the western sky But I never rode my pony through the hills of Oklahoma Hell, you never even learned to rope and ride And I always thought someday We would ride off in the sunset Somewhere far away Baby, any place that's wild Somewhere far away, baby, any place that's wild. 
Any Place That's Wild. My gosh, what a beautiful song. I love this track. It definitely could be a soundtrack to a movie. Cool. You know, <laughs> Let's do it. You've been traveling I'm all sure over. Willie would be thrilled. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you've been traveling all over with the Sarah Pierce band from New York to L.A. to Europe. And I know you're quite fond of, well, you've been to France, Italy, Germany, and Scandinavia, but it's Italy where your true heart is. I know from our conversations in the past, and of course, Merle speaking fluent Italian, it's uh, almost as if you feel like home. What's it like touring Europe, especially Italy? For me, um, well, you know, when we get over there, we have dear friends, uh, because I had a record deal there for 10 years, and we went every year. The people are wonderful. I think that's the big thing. And, and I think also when there's, you know, there's, there's turmoil in the world, when you go to the small villages, um, you realize that, that, you know, us, the common man is what I think we are. Um, we are all the same. We all the same. We have the same dreams. We, you know, we want our, the children to be fine. The land is integral to our lives. There's just so many things that no matter, even if we can't talk, um, they're the same. And that's one of the beautiful things. I mean, Italy's gorgeous. Any road you turn down, you find a great pizzeria. There's fabulous food. There's wonderful people. Um, it was wonderful to realize that we're all, we're all doing the same thing. I understand. And the world could use a little bit more of that, especially these days. Yeah. Sarah, let's jump into what we discussed earlier, the trilogy. This is a great three-song set. Of course, I'd mentioned earlier, Mike Dorian's on this, John Inman's on this, playing great guitars. We've got some excellent work by Dave Perlman on pedal steel, who, by the way, all the microphones used, correct me if I'm wrong, on this whole album were built by Dave Perlman, were they not? Absolutely. I don't sing through anything else. Merle doesn't use anything else. Yeah, I could do a whole show I mean, about Dave Perlman. Perlman is phenomenal. Not only as a musician, but as a microphone builder. Oh, it's incredible. I've got a few questions to ask about the trilogy, but I'm going to let you do most of the talking on this. I know the uh, story of Franny, I believe it is, the librarian. Then you jump into The Messenger, which has an 800-mile trek that's discussed. And then you, you break out with a heavier uh, borders country rock, really rough stock. Could you give the listening audience a little background on the trilogy? Well, what happened was we were in uh, the Grand Canyon. We go up to Lee's Ferry and fly fish, or we try every year. It's been years since we've been up there, but we stopped at the Grand Canyon one year, and there was this funny little pamphlet in their area that um, talked about the messengers of the Grand Canyon. And this was in the 1800s, and these were women who carried messages in the night. And so I sat on this for a couple of years. And when I pulled out songs for this record, um, it must have been Merle that told me to get to the messenger. So I started researching and boy, it was hard to find anything. Um, I was surprised. But what I dug up was that um, these messengers were carrying letters um, sewn in their jackets from Oregon to New York. I mean, it was incredible. On a horse with a rifle and a canteen and them, or a mule and a rifle and a canteen. But you can imagine, oh my God, um, they came across everything from bear to, to bandits. It's amazing. Um, and so I pulled out some real stories. Uh, the messenger, there's Alberta Claire, and then there's, um, I can't remember her name because I haven't looked at it in so long, but she called herself the Montana Girl. And they made treks that were, they were shoeing their own horses all the way across this 800 mile thing. It was amazing. And then um, I came upon the librarians. The librarians did almost the same thing, except during the Depression. They took books to children in these little bitty, they weren't even towns. They were just, uh, you know, a group of shacks. There was no school. Um, Actually, in the East Coast, in Kentucky, these women were contracted and, and actually paid by the government to get the books out. As it dwindles across the United States into the West, the same thing was done, but a lot of them weren't really reimbursed that way. But again, these women packed up those, all the books in their saddlebags 
and went out there on a mule. And the pictures you'll find, I mean, it's incredible the ground they had to cover. Ugh, my goodness. And then I ended up with rough stock because this is another group of women that all these women, the commonality was they were willing to give their lives to do something. Um, Whatever their dream was, they could die any day. And, And that blows your mind if you really think about it. The rough stocks were um, the women that rode saddle broncs. And there were times when they had to ride hobbled, which means that their stirrups were tied together. They could not get off the horse. And that's how McConnell died. And it's just um, these women were incredible. And they built a foundation for rodeo, the librarians, and also, of course, messengers, the Pony Express. Um, these women pushed into those areas. Now, I, I look at them and I think that they look like all of us. If you go look at them, these were some tough women. Did you, did you look at some of the pictures of these women? I did not. Holy crap. These are women that must be, I don't know, you know, 200 pounds, meaner than hell looking. No wonder they had big horses and mules. Um, big old rifles, they were out there to get through. It's amazing. Sounds great. Sounds a little scary to me, but uh, that's really what it, scary. <laughs> that's what it took. That's what it took to cover the miles and, and encounter what they had to counter on these treks is incredible. Let's listen yeah. to this trilogy right now. This is a three song trilogy starting with the librarian, the messenger, then rough stock. Brand new music, Sarah Pierce, the name of the album, Blessed by the West. The Depression, schools closed, country kids had no books to read. No education, no way out, someone had to take the lead. But Western women never met a road too rough to hold. They vowed they carried books through heat, cold, rain, and snow. Franny pulled on her boots, dreading the cold winter wind. She'd saddle up old bay. For her the greatest mule that ever been She loaded up her saddlebags With all the books they could hold It was a hundred miles of wild, wild west They had to roam
not the pain, fatigue, or fear. She just had to get there on time. Letters, but articles of country and state. Laws were changed. Leaders were elected based on secrets she had hidden away. Sewn in her shirt, under her coat, beneath her pistol, behind her knife on a fast horse. She made it abundantly clear that when protecting her charge. No remorse. She's the messenger. The messenger. Her job was to fend off bandits, wolves, and bad weather. Just to deliver a confidential letter. As dry lightning across the western sky. Always willing to give her life to get there on time. She's the messenger.
those gals always had to bring more to the table than any man. So they lived hard, played the game. Every ride, they were put to the test, still grateful for living their lives while doing what they did best. Ooh, rough stock, chasing the rodeo dream, looking for a second's flag. The trilogy, brand new music, Blessed by the West, Sarah Pierce featuring the librarian, the messenger, then Rough Stock, where you really get down and dirty on that. That last song of the trilogy with a little country rock, excellent guitar work on that last song, John Inman on guitars, wonderful, wonderful trilogy. If you're just tuning in, Sarah Pierce is our guest on Songwriter Studio featuring songs off of Blessed by the West. Great record. The release date is... Uh... Release date's 422. Uh, yeah. Okay. So all of the um, the digital stuff is there, and uh, we're still trying to get the physical copies, but they're on their way. And you will be playing live right here in Houston at the Houston Folklore and Music Society's second Saturday concert series. Yeah, I'm so excited. Brian Kalanick will be opening for you that night. I know I'll be there. Hopefully we can pack the house. And this will be, for the listening audience, this will be the last concert at their current location. They've been there for decades. The West University Community Center. Jim Gill is taking over the production of this, and they're going to be moving it to St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church, right down the street, actually, from the community center there at West University. So let's get out there and support live music, support the Sarah Pierce Band. Who's going to be playing live with you in that show, Sarah? Um, That is me, Merle, John Enman, and Mark Epstein. Okay, you're going to have a four-piece band. Yep. Sounds great. I know we'll be there. I've always enjoyed that venue. I've played there numerous times myself over the years. Sorry to see you there. They're moving. Well, and we wanted you to jump in and play, but at this moment, you can't. Can't do it. Got a little shoulder procedure going on here, still healing, but uh, we'll be there to support, if nothing else. We'll do it later in the year. There you go. Let's talk about the next track we've got queued up here. I'd start over, and what a great piano work on this, the the pedal steel work. You got Pete Wassner playing piano on this track, Dave Perlman. We already had mentioned what great pedal steel work he does on this record. Why don't you talk a little bit about the background of this song to the listening audience? Well, this is, I call it my lightning. And you only understand that if you had barbed wire record and you heard the song Lightning. But um, basically, I'd start over is just about, there's no life without Merle. Um, I love Merle. He's my life. And whether he goes to heaven or hell, I'm right on his tracks following him. So um, anyway, that's all there is to it. There, there's no brainstorm. And of course, Wozner, you know, everything Pete does is brilliant. And so, yep. There's Wozner's there. And this is not the first album that we featured on Songwriter's Studio where Pete does piano work. He is brilliant, and he's the go-to guy for studio work for sure. Yeah. Let's listen to this track right now off the brand new album, Blessed by the West, Sarah Pierce. This is I'd Start Over. We were sitting up on the old back post fence Just taking in the Texas sunset The live oak were finally getting their leaves Blue bonnets popping up as far as we could see 
out of nowhere You started twisting your wedding ring Like you do when you're really thinking You said, I know it sounds crazy But really, what would you do If something happened to happen to me? I'd start over by carting a marble red Just like I used to when we first met back then I'd have to switch from red wine to straight bourbon It's the only way I'd know to keep all that hurt in Then I'd sit on the porch, pray for light Wait with the dogs, it shouldn't take long For you to come back and take me along I'd start over I caught you grin You knew I'd say something like that You flip my strawberry off in the toe Grass. You said out here everything you do takes two I said I'm not kidding babe The first thing I do I'd start over by carting a marble rest Just like I used to when we first met back then I'd have to switch from red wine to straight bourbon It's the only way I'd know to keep all that burden Then I'd sit on the porch, pray for light Wait with the dogs, it shouldn't take long For you to come back and take me along I'd start over Let's just live and see what life gives Get through the floods as they come You keep trying to rope the moon And I'll keep trying to saddle the sun And if I have to, I'll start over By carting a marble red Man back then I'd have to switch from red wine to straight bourbon It's the only way I know to keep all that burden Then I'd sit on the porch and pray for light The dogs are cold, we got a good place to go Just come back and take me along I'd start over I'd start over. Brand new music, Sarah Pierce. The name of the new album, Blessed by the West. We're reviewing numerous tracks, as many as we can squeeze in in one hour here on Songwriters Studio. And uh, since we're sort of running a little short on time, let's just jump into the next track we've got queued up, White Dog Revenge. And this features on harmony vocals Andy Renfrey, old friend of Songwriters Studio and KPFT. She is amazing. Great songwriter, great singer. Uh, She's got it all. Mm -hmm. And by the way, lives in Nashville these days. Folks around town probably want to know what happened to Andy. Her and Ren moved. She's an Alamogordo. Pardon me? She's an Alamogordo. Oh, where is that? (laughs) Uh, That's New Mexico. I didn't know they moved to New Mexico. Last time I talked to her and Ren, they were in Nashville. Did just recently. Okay. I think they've been there a couple months, and that's it. Yeah, they're out in that beautiful country. Well, that's news to me, and thank you for that update. I had no idea they moved. Okay, so let's jump into this track again. This one features great Hammond B3 organ work. 
from Pete Wassner as well as Dave Perlman on pedal steel. Great guitar by John Inman on this particular track. Just an all-around excellent recording and arrangement. From the brand new album, Blessed by the West, this is Sarah Pierce. We're tired of looking at our girlfriend's black eye and watching you wear her down. We decided it's time for you to move on. I drew the short straw and made the call. That beat up flatbed clutch slipping Chevy truck You know I got ears like a dog since the last time you rolled up Drop by, got the three for one at Joe's liquor store Grab them as you come up, they're sitting on the front porch Come on in and take my chair It's been a while since you've been here Just ignore that cold metal pressed up against your ear I've got your lucky glass That cowboy bar souvenir Have your first shot while I make this perfectly clear Drink it down It's your favorite whiskey blend It's just me and your hundred proof white dog friend It's not gonna save you this time It's gonna flow until she takes you out tonight Drink it down, drink it down Here come your other girlfriends Sissy's horns crying like a kitten June smoking a cigar Jesse's wearing that old straw bread They'll all say that it's no crime You just went too far this time Just our little secret Isn't that your favorite line? Drink it down It's your favorite whiskey blend It's just me You and your hundred proof white dog friend It's not gonna save you this time She's gonna flow until she takes you out tonight Drink it down, drink it down, drink it down, drink it down By the close of the fire, you won't be seeing the dawn A few less beaten women, one less beaten dog No harm, no foul just a little justice It's your favorite whiskey blend It's just me, you and your hundred proof white dog friend She's not gonna save you this time She's gonna flow until she takes you out tonight Drink it down, drink it down, drink it down Been a year since we saw that Chevy swerving through the rising sun It wasn't what we planned, you deserve not to live after what you've done You weren't worth the time we pay Or losing our lives Just remember my words if you ever change your mind The last thing you'll feel is that cold metal pressed up against your ear? White Dog Revenge, brand new music, Sarah Pierce, Blessed by the West. We love that harmony. Of course, we've got our good friend Andy Renfrey featured on that track. Yeah. And uh, we're almost out of time. It's been such a pleasure 
chatting with you again, Sarah, here for an hour on Songwriter's Studio. We love your husband. He's been so helpful to our show and to the artist he brings to us and to the world of talent he always shows and brings to Songwriter's Studio and KPFT. Why don't you give the listening audience a little information on contact information, website address, where can they check your schedule and order your products? Okay. Everything's at www.sarahpierce.com. Doesn't get any easier. www.sarahpierce.com. You can order your entire catalog. I think this is about your 10th album, isn't it? It is number 10. Is that crazy? Lucky 10. Wow. And you're going to be at our favorite local regional song venue, Houston Folklore and Music Society. I'm so excited. And that's on Auden Street in West University. Just Google the West U Community Center. So make sure you leave plenty early. Parking's kind of tight. And I am playing with Brian Kalanick. He is not the opener. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian has a new album out as well. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. Recorded at Cribworks Digital Audio right there by Merle Briganti. And I'm sure you had your fingers in that project as well, Sarah. So it'll be one great night of wonderful music. Thank you so much for being our guest. I'm honored. Uh, stick around. Up next, we have Pete Little with Irish Airs. And we're going to go out with A Dream as Big as Texas. Oh, yay. Cool. Before we do that, there's one more thing I want to mention. Al Johnson's Performing Songwriter Contests is coming up on us on May 18th, 24. That's just a couple of weeks from now. You can go out and go to their website. Yes. And complete an application. And if you are lucky enough to get chosen, you are in the contest for a $30 entry fee. You can enter two songs. So please cool. be uh, proactive. They take Americana, blues, Celtic, country, folk, rock, pop, you name it, they're judging. So get out there and go to their website. That's going to be at the Wildflower, and it's the singer-songwriter stage at the Wildflower Festival. So just uh, let you know on that. They have packages up to $2,000 for their grand prize. That's it for Songwriter Studio. Once again, Sarah Pierce, thank you so much for being our guest, and we will see you in a few weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Until next week, Tom Tranchilla, along with Lloyd Daniel. We'll see you then. I was a West Texas kid A high school football star But all he cared about was driving fast cars When he left that town behind He took all that he'd saved Bought himself a cheap garage with only three bays He never forgot his country roots That old Made a name for himself All through the South You'd see him out on the town Every once in a while Sipping fresco and gray goose From a styrofoam cup Dancing the two-step That boy could stir up some sawdust He never forgot his country roots That always pulled I'm proud to know the man who worked for all he has. From a rancher in a three-car bay to an icon in his trade he made his dreams come true. He made a dream as big as Texas. The license plate He still does his business With a handshake When you see him in person Seems it's always for a cause From the SPCA To the Pawnee Talk Fireman's Ball And he never forgets his country roots That always pulls Straight.
trade he made his dreams come true he made a dream as big as texas come true i wonder if he ever looks back to that 37 ford coupe and a time he had nothing to lose Texas, I'm true. 